Do you want more great content from me? Check out the description box down below. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about a video request uh, from South London Reseller. So if you have any video requests for me to do, any ideas, any suggestions, any tips you want me to cover, then please drop a comment down below right now and uh, I'll get to that video request within a few days hopefully and uh, yeah, hopefully bring you some of the content that you would like. Um, so, you know, it can be anything, in whatever it is, reselling related. Um, if you've got something that you would like me to cover, then as I say, just drop a comment down below right now. But anyway, I won't um, ramble any longer. Um, I'll get on with this video. So, South uh, London reseller here, here's the actual comment. Hi, Ads, can you do a video about how to apply for an antiques cabinet with possibly a list of established companies to apply to? So, basically, the way I did it was I already knew um, that this place in question uh, rents out cabinets, rents out uh, units, and I had been there way, way in the past, you know, before I was a reseller, I had been there just sort of just for a personal browse, a personal look round, so I kind of knew uh, the gist of it. I didn't know any prices and stuff, but I just literally rang, rang up or went down, I can't remember which one, um, but I ever went uh, went down and rang up and got some prices and it was all fine. Um, but obviously if you didn't, you know, if people who don't have an interest in antiques or whatever or any of that vintage stuff or whatever the cabinets are full of, you know, there are, there are places that do cabinets full of like vintage items like vintage toys or retro gaming. But if you don't have an interest in that or you've not immersed yourself in that kind of environment of these types of centres or places, then you might not know where to begin. So what I thought would be a good idea is just typing in ant antique centres near me or you could maybe search for uh, like sort of these vintage... Uh, what do we call them, like, um, I don't know, retro emporiums or something like that. I don't know the exact word, but, you know, like these places where they're like an antique centre. They have the same layout, but they're just for, like, retro gaming or something like that. Um, but you could probably find them on Google as well. But in this situation, I'm just going to do antique centre. So, basically, if you want a cabinet selling more vintage items and things like that. And you can actually still sell... Um, you know, maybe toys and games, vintage toys and games in, in these cabinets as well. It's not just antiques. Um, there are people, there are people in the centre I'm in who do Lego and things like that. So it's not specific just to antiques, but yeah. Anyway, I typed in that. So basically, you then get a list of loads of different centres near you. Now, some of these might not do uh, specific rented out cabinets. They might do uh, unit size only. I know that this one here, Nutsford Antiques, uh, the guy who runs that only rents out full rooms. So like a, a massive room, you have to, you can only rent out a massive room. You can't rent out a little cabinet. So different antique centres will have different kind of rules. Some of them will want you to work a day or work a couple of days and they're, they're usually called duty days. Um, and then, then obviously we're going to tell you the prices now. You can either ring up, you know, to each of these centres. This is what I did. I rang up pretty much all of these centres uh, to get, for one, uh, this was when I was trying to get a unit. However, I've now just got a cabinet. But when I was looking into getting a, a full, full on unit or booth, I uh, basically rang up most of these. Peggy's Cove, I don't think they do. They might do uh, cabinets, but I don't think they do booths. Because um, again, I know the guy who runs that and it, it's not a booth situation. Um, but yeah, I rang up all these. I rang up Dagfields. I didn't ring up them. I rang up where? I think I rang up them. Um, where, where's the other ones that I rang up? There was another one. Uh, Lady Hayes, I think it was, I rang up. And... Um, Oh, I, that's basically in the same place that I'm in, but it's a different centre. Obviously, Blakemere is where I'm at. I rang up Northwich Antiques and Collectibles, um, and I rang up Nutsford Antiques as well. But, um, yeah, so basically what you want to do, because I'm going off topic here a little bit, but what you want to do is go on the website or ring up and just ask if they rent out cabinets. You want to ask for the prices. As I say, you want to ask if there's any duty days you have to work or any extra kind of things or hidden things that you might not know about because um, you don't want to get stung you don't want to basically rent a cabinet or rent a boob and then end up um, realizing once you've done it or once you once you're just about to sign the document that there's some sort of 
extra thing that you have to do, whether it be some extra work or whether it be some hidden fee or something. So ring them all up, make sure that you, you, you know what's what with, with the kind of contracts that you're going to be signing. And then obviously they'll just say, look, you can go and fill up your cabinet at this date uh, when the other person has moved out. And uh, then you just fill it up. Uh, you basically, well, at my, I can only say what happens at my antique centre, but basically what you'll what you'll get is you'll get like a little laminated card, and then you show that once you go in, and um, basically then they'll give you your key for your cabinet, and then you can fill it up, and you do that every time you go, um, and also that little pass. Um, grant you access to your money as well, so anything that you've earned. So that's what happens at mine, but obviously there'll be slightly different layouts with, with regards to how you uh, access your cabinet in different antique centres. But yeah, that's the best way to go about it anyway. So I would say just type in something like that, antique centres near me, then you'll get a list of all the companies that, you know, could do, do cabinets or booths, and then ring up each one. I know it's a little bit of a hassle, but ring up each one, and then see what their kind of rules are and their kind of prices and then choose the best one based on what you think. Also a good tip just to finish on is um, go to the actual place itself. So maybe we find down to two or three different places you like the look of and you like the price of and you like you know the kind of rules and stuff. Um, and then out of those three, maybe go down to them and look at the footfall, maybe on a weekend, or you know, see what the light. Like. Do you like the layout? Is it does it is it got a good feel to it? Because if you think it's got a good feel and you can see that there's good custom on the weekends, then we you know specifically the weekends. It doesn't just have to be the weekends, but specifically the weekends. Then you can kind of think, yeah, that's the one I want my cabinet to be at. And then you, from there, out of those two or three, you can think, yeah, I'm going to go with this one. So, yeah, that, that's my tips anyway for that. Um, quite easy to do, you know, quite easy to actually just find these places. Um, but obviously, if you're not kind of... If, you, if you've never been to an antique centre before, I don't really know much about them, it might be a bit difficult to kind of actually do the research and get involved with it. But, yeah, anyway, that's that. I'll leave it there, guys. Um, I won't ramble on any longer because... It doesn't need to be a very long video. So, as I say, if you have any video requests for me, then please do drop them down below. And I will see you in the next video. So, see you very soon, guys.